movieweb.com. Well, the movie is based on real people, right. and you portray Art Honeyman. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, this real person? Well, Art is uh, still around and going strong. In, he lives in Portland, in Oregon, and, um, and he's now in his sort of late 60s, and I play him in, in his late 20s, I guess, early 30s. Um, he, uh, Richard Pimentel, who's the, who's the, the story is about, uh, the real Richard Pimentel always talks about the first time he met Art on the campus uh, in Portland. And uh, Art used to go around in his wheelchair, he has CP, uh, and, has, and has lived with CP for all of his life. And he would be going around the campus in his wheelchair with this group of people following him around, this entourage, of people who just wanted to be around Art, because he is incredibly charismatic and, and just fun to be around and irreverent and passionate. And, and, uh, and, and so he, it's, that's the huge challenge of playing this character, is that to play a man who has such an extreme physicality about him and people you know, perceive him in one way, but actually what's going on inside that physicality is something completely different. And to try and bring those qualities through was the, was the huge challenge of the part. Really. Well, I would say that you pulled it off. I was impressed. <laughs> I was convinced. Oh, great. And what kind of challenges were there in playing a person that has cerebral palsy? Yeah. Well, there's sort of two lots of challenges in a way. There's the challenge of, of being true to, to CP, to people who live with CP. And that, and, the, and that responsibility that you feel, you know, it's not just the responsibility of, of, of playing someone very well known like Tony Blair or, you know, whoever it is that I've played who's a real life person in the past. Um, but there's also the responsibility that you have for everyone who uh, lives with CP or, or lives with someone who lives with CP. You feel that responsibility. So I knew I, knew I had to try and get as, that, as close to that as I possibly could. But then there's also the, the challenge and the responsibility of playing a real person, of playing this man who sat on the set and watched me being him for a while, you know, and you feel you want to get that right. You don't want to, and especially when it's someone who's as extraordinary as art is. Um, so there were sort of two lots of challenges, really. And, and I, in terms of getting the CP right, that was just a question of having to read up, watch footage, go. I, I spent uh, time at a, a, a CP, a centre for people with CP in Santa Monica, uh, and hung out there, and they were incredibly welcoming to me. And uh, and then it was just about being at home, practicing, and you know getting it wrong and then trying to get it right again and then eventually I got a, a wheelchair sent to me so I could get comfortable in the chair and, and then once I started to feel like I was I was sort of somewhere near to it and close to it then I would go out into the into Santa Monica and go around the streets and you know go out into the big wide world and see what that was like and that was an extraordinary experience and then when I got to meet Art when we got to Portland then I could get very very specific about the character as opposed to just any old person with CP I was playing Art Honeyman. So the, the, I started to get much more specific about it then. And what would you like for the viewers to take away uh, from watching this film? Well, I think the one thing I suppose is that, you know, you, you, this is a story of, of people who have actually made a huge difference in the world. They have changed the world, as it says on the poster, you know. Um, and that if people like Richard, who has had to deal with his hearing loss, and people like Art, who's dealing with CP every day of his life, if these people can still overcome what they have to overcome in order to touch people and affect people, then people who are not having to deal with something like CP and, uh, and, and, and hearing loss, um, you know, we've got no excuse really, have we?